Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, we're going to do a quick comparison between the iPhone 5, this is the iPhone 5 right here, and this is the 5S. So as you can tell by the fingerprint sensor, there's a gold ring around the home button on the iPhone 5S. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to run the Geekbench benchmarking tool, which uh, measures the processing and the memory power of different devices. So uh, just to give you a quick overview, what I got here, uh, what this phone has, has a dual core at 1.2 gigahertz using an A6 chip, and uh, it's got 1 gigabytes of RAM. Now this guy also has a dual core processor clocked at 1.3 gigahertz with an A7 64-bit chip. It also has 1 gigabytes of RAM, but it's a higher quality DDR3 RAM. So um, let's launch Geekbench and take a look at which one um, well, let's take a look at how, how much faster the iPhone 5S is in, in comparison. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is to make sure nothing else is running in the background. So double tap, get rid of that email application, double tap, and nothing is running here. I'm going to scroll over and launch Geekbench. Okay, and you get a quick summary of their memory capacity. Alright, so let's uh, run the iPhone 5 first and then followed with iPhone 5S. And let's see what kind of numbers we get. As you can see, 5S is in fact racing ahead. And I'm going to let this whole thing run its course. Okay, so that's the numbers we got. This is the uh, the first one is the number for a single co core operation. This is a dual core device. So there's one single core and this is the multi-core number. And then the iPhone 5 is almost done. We'll see the difference in numbers in a second. And there we go. <clears throat> so the iPhone operation at single core is 722, and the iPhone 5 is, uh, S is uh, 1415. Uh, Multicore 1302, and multicore on the iPhone 5S is 2561. These numbers are nearly double. Okay, so the iPhone 5 has, S has nearly double the performance as the iPhone 5. So, what do these numbers mean? What these numbers means is that when you're using any processor intensive task, such as uh, playing a game or running a uh, movie editing software like the iMovie, the iPhone 5S is going to perform better. There is no question about that. Uh, because when you're editing a movie, that definitely requires processing power. Now, the iPhone 5S happens to have a better graphics processor, so you're going to see better gaming on it also. It's going to be faster gaming, better graphics, and all that jazz. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. Um, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I'll see you the next time with some more videos.